Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. You may notice my streak is at uh, zero. I don't want to talk about it. I may or may not have recorded about 15 minutes of a run that I'm not very proud of. I figured what I'm going to do so I don't random the Lost for now, although I'll, I will play the Lost on occasion, is I'm just going to play every character in order. So last run we did Isaac, if I remember correctly. We did the Lost and Isaac. So this run we'll do Maggie, and this is Cock cb 9 x I, there's certainly no hilarious jokes one could make up about the wordplay there. I like being on Curse of the Labyrinth, I don't like being on Curse of the Labyrinth. If, if there's one thing to say, Curse of the Labyrinth is one of the most interesting curses in the very, very early game. Curse of the Labyrinth on the first floor means that, uh... You're, there's, there's big consequences, but also you save one key. It's kind of like the most dynamic curse in the game. What are the consequences? Well, if you take at all any red heart damage, you're probably screwed for your deal with the devil. And that's not an exaggeration, you know, you're, like mathematically you are probably screwed for your deal with the devil. Um, however, it also means you don't need a second, or you don't need any keys to open your item rooms, which is excellent. Although, occasionally meaningless if you end up getting keys to begin with. I think Curse of the uh, Labyrinth on the first floor is an overall net negative, even though I may have said other things in the past. That being said, it's an interesting kind of curse, so I appreciate it. It's better than just Curse of Darkness, which is just like, can't see shit, Captain, you know? Alright. This guy's gotta be like two hits away. That was uh, surprisingly accurate. Let's see what we've got going on in here. Ghost Baby for free is actually kind of nice, because it means we'll never have to deal with Ghost Baby again. With two bombs, I'm uh, actually kind of into the situation we're in right now, because the worst case scenario is that we end up fighting Headless Horseman on the next floor. Assuming I get through this double Monstro fight without getting hit, which is not guaranteed, you know, double Monstro is not, uh... It's the most difficult form of Monstro, but it's still one of the easier, probably, uh... boss room layouts you can get for your first floor here. Uh, if we can get through this without getting hit, maybe we end up fighting Duke of Flies. One bomb certainly makes Duke of Flies a lot easier to deal with. Uh, apart from that, I can't even imagine. What I really don't want to end up fighting is Blighted Ovum. I end up taking a stupid amount of damage, but Blighted Ovum is also pretty rare. So our deal with the Devil Chance is looking relatively solid here. Larry Jr. Also kind of a bad outcome for me. Larry Jr. not that difficult, but not that easy either. I kind of want to just throw one bomb up here just in case. Terrible usage of that, but uh, it opens up some space, which I actually think is, is better for me. To have some space open here, I'm actually going to throw in one more bomb. And that one went fantastically. You might be saying, oh, Northern Lion, you scumbag, you don't need to use two bombs to kill Blue Larry Jr. Better safe than sorry when the deal with the devil's on, on the table, that's all I can say. So we will take Caffeine Pill unless we find like a D6, okay? And we're going to be fighting Krampus here. There's a positive and a negative aspect to this. The positive is that, um, you know, we'll knock it out right away. The negative is that the best thing that we're going to get here is, is either Krampus's head or Lump of Coal, and either one of those would be... Um, an adequate replacement. So maybe it's a good thing, but it's an adequate replacement for uh, Yum Heart. What's our rune? Perthro. Okay, 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 okay. Let's take our pill. Thank you for not teleporting me. I wonder if we reroll that if it will become a deal with the devil. Oh, it totally did! <laughs> Alright, so for once I actually used. Um, uh, that's not a, a pill that we recognize. I actually used a reroll in the devil room effectively. We got a 48 hour energy there, but oh, we got two 48 hour energy pills, which with Krampus's head is actually pretty good. You know, anytime we encounter a room like that one that looks a little dangerous, we'll just say F off, mate, no thank you. Oh my god, we're gonna get two batteries here? Probably, I think. What are you doing? Yeah, two batteries, plus the 48 hour energy pill. I mean, it's a little bit overkill at this point, you could say, but uh, this is actually shaving up very amazingly. The fact that we picked up. Death's Touch on our reroll is incredibly good luck, and I would say we're sitting pretty on this run. You know what? Let's be a little bold. Normally I don't like doing this, but I'm gonna say this is a one run, this early on. I, I don't want how to jump, but I'll pick it up and put it back down. And this is like a, a very fringe scenario, but why am I bothering to pick it up and put it back down? Because if we come across a library, this will minimize the amount of books we can find in that library. Yes, we don't have a D6, but who knows, maybe we'll get a Perthrow rune. And if we get a Perthro rune, you know, it, it happened to us semi-recently, we could actually reroll all those items on the library, and who knows what kind of greatness could happen there. I don't love that bombs are key pill, but there are worse situations in which to get it. So I can't be too sad about that. And we're actually loaded up very, very nicely here, with a decent rotation of pills as well, especially if 48 hour energy shows up a lot. With Krampus's head, it's insanely useful. That second secret room is not very good. Joker card, um, what was the other one? We had 48 hour energy. Joker, we'll just use... 
I was gonna say immediately on the next floor, but we don't have to do that. There's kind of like, um, there's two schools of thought I think that you could offer here. One school of thought would be, um, use it right away so that if you get a good item, you get it as early as possible. The other school of thought would be, don't use it until you don't get a deal with the devil, or maybe even don't use it at all. Just wait until you get a, um, I'm gonna go to our curse room even though it's gonna cost us a spirit art. Don't use it until the cathedral and then just get a deal with the devil on the cathedral. I'm not really, uh, it'll save us our spirit art at least. And contract from below for free. It doesn't get, it really doesn't get much better than this at this point. That's that's really incredible. Uh, what a great floor. Contract from below. Ghost ba- Oh my god, our face. Look at this face. I love it. I don't know what to say about it. It makes you feel a little uncomfortable, but I like it a great deal. Okay. Uh, contract from below. Krampus' head. Death's touch. HP upgrade. Some good pills. I'm happy with it. So I'm going to save this Joker card. The Joker card is maybe even like the, the third best item we got on that floor. Um, even though it's a consumable. Uh, I am thinking that uh, I'm going to save this Joker card and we'll use it on the first floor in which I don't get a deal. Which could be this floor. Mathematically, there's a pretty decent chance that it would be this floor. Are you kidding me? That that amazing, you know, marksman shot didn't actually hit there and Ghost Baby of all things gets the freaking kill? We should definitely have an opportunity to go to Boss Rush on this room. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll explain to you my exact reasoning in open that, opening that golden chest. I said to myself, Self, you have very good luck right now. You should probably consider opening up that uh, golden chest, because who knows what kind of greatness might be in there with the kind of luck that you're having today, and wouldn't you know it, we got set up pretty nicely. Uh, fate, free ability to fly, the extra eternal heart may not matter, but we'll see. Oh, we still have one more enemy. This should be easier than our last one, and good to go. Now, anything that gives us... Oh my god. Anything that gives us extra damage at this point is just incredible. So, I mean, we already have a damage upgrade in Death's Touch. It's, don't take this as me saying, oh, we're not getting any damage upgrades. More, this is like, well, the best thing for us with Penetrative Tears already is damage upgrades. We already have some pretty good utility items uh, in the form of contract from below, which I appreciate quite a lot. If we can get Humbling Bundle to go along with it, it would be bea utiful. And we're going to find out if this Joker card is going to be saved. Should I save or should I go now? We'll find out right now. The Husk. Oh, I'm, I feel bad for you, my friend. We did get a deal with the Devil, so I'm glad I didn't do anything rash. And I'm very glad that we got a free ability to fly, so I don't have to take that super expensive deal. I even took Missing Page 2 in this situation, but mostly I was excited about the mark. So that's a damage upgrade. Um, but, uh, I, I took the mark for obvious reasons. I took Missing Page 2. It gives us a black heart, which is manifesting itself as half a black heart, because we had half a spirit heart in the, when we went into the deal. Um, ooh, a little dangerous there. Yeah, very dangerous there. I should not get out of this room without taking damage, and I didn't. All is right in the universe. Um, but yeah, I, I took it mostly for the black heart, but also just to make sure, it, you know, didn't show up again, and who knows, every once in a while when we take damage, it'll help us out. So we'll only take a half heart of damage on the way out here. Picked up a free guppy item and two spirit hearts. Look, I promise you I didn't scout out this seed in advance to see if it was amazing, but it is looking pretty freaking stellar right now, like an Incubus song from the early 2000s. No thank you, sir. Guppy's tail is gonna make it so an item like Skeleton Key would be exceptional. But an item like Skeleton Key is almost always exceptional. So it should kind of go without saying. I got you there. Item room contains Halo of Flies, another great item. We're going, I was, at first I thought we were actually going pretty slowly here, but we're going relatively quickly, actually. I normally poo-poo secret rooms a little bit. Oh, secret rooms are no longer as good as they used to be. Oh, they suck. But secret rooms now have uh, the opportunity to give you two keys straight up. And it looks like it's pretty much a guarantee it'll be either here. Well, it is just there. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't really pay out for us, but that's okay. Or they could have been in this room over here, but whatever. We're just gonna leave. Sorry, shop. I probably should have gone to you before the item room for obvious reasons. Oh, well. I don't even want the Eternal Heart at this point. Liberty Cap. Probably, like, the easiest trinket to get in the game, but I'll take it nonetheless. It's a good one. You know what? I'm gonna try to bomb these for, like, a bombs or key pill. Do we know what that one does? No. Explosive Diarrhea. Health up. Well, I'm glad we did it, but at the same time, it wasn't exactly what we planned or we, what we had planned for. But hey, still very good. Our odds of getting a deal with the devil again, pretty low on this floor. 
Curse of the Blind means we can't see our items either, but um, if we get one, I won't use the Joker card. If we don't get one, I will use the Joker card. And if I have to use the Joker card on this floor, I don't really care, to be honest with you, because I'm going to take every single deal with the deal with the devil. There's almost no item that I could pick up that would make me mad that I used it, you know? Or that I picked it up and used the HP. That's probably Shoop the Whoop. I think it has to be Shoop the Whoop. What a terrible item. But we got out of that room very quickly, so I don't mind. Shoop the Whoop basically just like a much worse version of uh, Krampus's head. So, you know, why, why mess with the rest if you already got the best? Stay away, please. My, uh... Yeah, my principal goal here is just going to be get some keys, I guess, so we can actually visit our item rooms and whatnot. The only thing that could derail a run that has started off as strongly as this one has is uh, not being able to access, you know, the rooms that actually would make it even better than it already is. We don't need to scale that much to win this run. I mean, I already called it a one run, so if I lose at this point, it's just a, you know, it's a disaster for me from a PR standpoint. I have to talk to my publicist, make a public apology. It's not going to be pretty. I don't have a pub. I am my own publicist. We'll do the big rooms, which is a terrible decision when you have Krampus' head. We shouldn't be doing our, our big rooms first. We should be doing those later because we could just use Krampus' head potentially to get through them. Thank you, Halo of Flies. Help me out nice bit there. Easy room, though. Double health ups? Yeah, okay. That's pretty stellar. Again. No demon judgment, uh, but that's not really a problem. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, I don't want to play that one. I want to play this one for a better chance to get consumable keys and stuff like that. Keep playing our slot machine. I mean, our luck stat is not great. I don't really care what we get from this blood bank. If there's one thing that's that's changed the most from vanilla to rebirth, it's the fact that I don't really value blood banks that much. I guess that's not... Maybe I didn't change. Maybe the... Or maybe the game didn't change. I changed. But the HP upgrades, now that uh, you have the HP cap, are not nearly as useful, I think. And additionally, the fact that getting the IV bag doesn't mean that you're exclusively going to get blood bags uh, makes it so it's not really as much of an interesting thing to, to play those blood banks or as much of an advantageous thing to play those blood banks over and over. Recall that blood bank damage, at least to the best of my knowledge, does not count as red heart damage for determining whether or not you get a deal with the devil. Curse room damage does, though. If you get hit uh, in the red hearts with it, of course. So we're going to have Krampus's head charged up almost perfectly for this boss fight. No keys still. Kind of annoying. We're just going to use it right here because there was a uh, the opportunity for us to kill both of those nubs there. And you can see, you know, our damage is not super incredible on a single target with a lot of HP, which is why I'm hoping for maybe some more damage upgrades over the course of the run. But, you know, the penetrative tiers are a huge advantage as well. We do get a deal with the devil. We also got placenta. I don't love it, but I'll take it. And for one heart, a pentagram. Fantastic. We continue to get these deals with the devil. I didn't pick up, like, Goathead or something that gives me deals with the devil all the time, so I'm a little surprised that we got three of them in a row. Eventually, our luck's probably going to run out, but uh, for now, this Joker card is looking conceivable. We might be able to make it last until, uh, ooh, until the uh, Cathedral, which is really, like, the best time to use it because there's no chance that you're going to get a deal with the devil on the Cathedral. For another free item, could be a Guppy one. It, it's Goathead! Okay. First, I was like, Guppy's head. Sweet. But, uh... Sure, Goathead actually means that we can save this... Yeah, we'll take that. We can save this Joker card until the Cathedral for an extra deal with the Devil, which is kind of stellar. I'm glad I didn't use it early on. I'm also going to try to stop using the word stellar, because I recognize that it's probably getting a little annoying. You know, sometimes we just slip into these patterns uh, accidentally. That's my bad. 48-hour energy. Prefer the Joker card, just because we haven't had really much cause to use... Um, Jesus. To use 48-hour uh, energy... We are a little bit ahead of the 8-ball. You know, this is 12 minutes. We would have 7 and a half, 3 minutes, 45 seconds per floor to get the boss rush. I am going to take some time to try to get as many consumables as is possible. Because, like, not going to the item room and the shop sucks the big one. I'll play until we get down to 15 cents. I don't care. I will sit here forever. Live bomb, huh? No, thank you. Whoa, okay. That's a surprise. Let's go check that out. Okay, two keys. That's awesome. Explosive diarrhea. We can at least, like, get the mushrooms as a result of it. We got bombs or key. Yeah, I'll pop that for sure. What a great room. All right. We're not going to have any red hearts left. That's a little disappointing, but uh, 
it's well worth it. We can also go to our boss trap room. Right now we have three and a half minutes per floor. Bloody Lust, uh, well worth picking up actually. Now I kind of want to get an IV bag, if we could. You know what, let's open these for like more red heart chance. Roughly worked out. The Gaz rune for purity, I'll take the extra spirit heart. Oh, I picked, I should not have picked that up. That was extremely dumb. With five keys left though, let's pop open these two. Another spirit heart and uh, we got one key back in return. Where's our shop? All the way over here. I think I may say, you know, no to the boss trap room, but I would love to get that IV bag, man. So let's uh, quickly check it out in here. Come on, IV bag. IV bag. Of course, I would love to get the, um, the non-IV bag as well. Like, the blood bag would also give us some beyond fringe benefits here, but if we want to get boss rush, we should probably leave pretty soon. I'll buy mom's purse. I'll buy the stopwatch. I'll buy the key. I'll buy the pill. I can see forever. I don't think that's really gonna benefit us. Um, oh, never mind. We found it right off the bat and picked up a black heart. It's a mild benefit. Uh, I am going to head down to the next floor, and if you'll excuse me during the vignette, I'm gonna get up and close the door because I'm noticing a little bit of audio bleed from the other room. One sec. All right. It's going okay here. Remember, uh, guaranteed deals with the devil. The stopwatch, I mean, I picked it up without that much, like, fanfare. But the stopwatch is basically, if we if we weren't going to win the game already, the stopwatch pretty much makes it uh, a foregone conclusion. In a way, I almost consider this item, like, almost Epic Fetus level. Although Epic Fetus shows up so rarely that uh, I'll still probably pick it up for now. But, you know, it is potentially arguable that maybe I should just not pick up the stopwatch unless I'm playing as the Lost because it's kind of insanely good. But, some people like it as well. Who cares, basically. For now, I'm just gonna take every opportunity to beat the game as hard as we can. Probably should have taken damage there. Well worth it, as far as I'm concerned. Let's keep that timer uh, in mind here. 1448. Again, it's gonna be very fast for us to get through these rooms, which is awesome. I'm also very thankful that we actually have some keys to our name now. Come on, what are you doing here? If we could get a higher luck stat, that would be awesome. Placenta just gave us a little bit more HP. Another health up. This is just an insane quality run right now. I can't even uh, be mad about it. At all. Like, even though there's a couple of things like, oh, we got how to jump in one of our item rooms. What am I supposed to say? Like, it's it's good enough that it doesn't matter at all. Um, I, I would still love to get IV bag, though, because, you know, we do benefit from Bloody Lust. Individual tier damage is one of the very few things we actually lack on this run. Here's how good this run is. I got Are You a Wizard, and I'm, like, not even pissed about it. It's still kind of annoying, but in a way, it's actually been pretty beneficial here. All right, there we go. We're shooting straight again. I would still, I would get rid of Krampus's head for the IV bag. Something that a lot of people would probably consider suspect, but um, I think it would be a good decision to give us that individual tier damage, which is like one of the very few things we lack on this run right now. Good stuff. Krampus's head is ready. That was uh, absolutely non-essential, but I did it anyway. Get out of there. What is this? Two of diamonds. Yeah, we'll, we'll pop that. In a second here. Totally at the HP cap. Can't benefit from all of those uh, special hearts that showed up as much as I wish I could. The only real danger here is that I, I walk myself into these shots. Yeah, you know what? This is the first run that I've had broken stop or regular stopwatch on where I've been like, maybe I'll just stop picking it up because I think it might make the runs like a little bit boring. You know, when the enemies can't even fight back, where's the... Where's the fun in that? Well, I guess the fun is in just shitting on the game. Which is fun. I'll give you that one. Not taking guillotine. Very sorry about it. If I could pick it up and put it back down, I would. But I'm not gonna. Oh, it's just the little dip in here. Right. Uh, I should probably try to get to the shop. But at the same time, I really relish the opportunity for us to get the boss rush. Especially when we're in a situation in which we have the stopwatch. So we should be able to do... Quite a number uh, on the, the bosses that we encounter in there. Don't jump, don't jump. Uh, how did you not get hit by that? Again, individual tier damage. A slight sore spot for me. We're only going to have three minutes. We should still be able to do it, but three minutes is not a lot of time. You are dead. Thank you very much. With you being deceased. Little Gish becomes ours as if the enemies weren't slow enough. 
We'll take Judas' Shadow. One of the reasons I kind of like taking Judas' Shadow here is because it gives me the opportunity to actually pick up some more black hearts and blue hearts. <laughs> that actually is kind of meaningful. Oh, I guess we have more HP than I thought. We have Curse of the Unknown as well. Uh, so... I know we skipped the shop, but I did that so that boss rush would be a little bit more of an option for us. Hopefully, that ends up not biting me in the ass. Because it is still possible, you know, with the amount of time we have left, it's completely plausible that we will just end up, um, still... Ooh. Come on, some of these shots have got to hit. It's completely plausible that we'll end up still not making it. I hope we will, though. Maybe we can get, like, a oh, magician card is not what I was looking for. Let's try to the left quickly. Of course, I would love to get into the, our uh, item room as well. We can play this at least like once or twice. It'll give us a small damage bonus which will hopefully speed us up more than it slowed us down. Good stuff. Krampus's head is ready for whatever we, we choose to use it for. And still on the lookout for the D100. If we have the opportunity to get it in our boss rush room I would be a very happy individual. Well, I don't love that this is how we ended up having to use Krampus's head here, but that's okay. It's not like it's really that valuable on our boss rush anyway. Whipworm and some HP and a judgment. We'll throw down. If we end up missing our boss rush room, we can take it with us. So there is our item room. Very important room for us here with only a minute and a half remaining. $3 bill is awesome. I think it's an item that has gotten a lot better. Not that it was bad in vanilla, but it's gotten a lot better. Uh, as a result of uh, new tiers like Proptosis, yes, like Death's Touch as well, but we already have Death's Touch permanently. But Proptosis gives us so much damage on some rooms. I'm guessing this almost has to be the way to the boss room, and indeed it is. Triple Shot will help out a lot for us as well. We're going to have more than enough time here. We can teleport out of our boss rush room with this Joker card, which might be more meaningful than getting a deal with the devil after our cathedral, or on our cathedral. Yeah, we teleport back into the boss rush room at the end, but it'd be worth it. Yeah, it'd be worth it, I think. All right. Now that I've done this theory crafting, uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, all this theory crafting is kind of for naught anyway. It seems extremely unlikely that we'll find ourselves in even the slightest thing resembling a difficult position on this run. Luck has just been on our side for too long. So many HP upgrade pills, uh, good offensive items, that early death's touch was ridiculous, fate for free, guppy item for free. Deal with the devil here is a uh, guppy item. And, okay, one guppy item, that's fine. We're only one item away from becoming guppy. I'll take this, and let's see what we got here. I I'll take Eve's Mascara, and I think I'm just going to teleport out. I know that that's not going to make it so we can do anything on the uh, rest of the floor or on the cathedral, but hey, we got Eve's Mascara for free, so I think it was worth it. You know you're in a convenient pos or a, a pretty good position. We're not going to get a good deal with the devil on this floor anyway. You know you're in a good position, though, when we... Uh, can use or can afford to use the Joker card as if it's just like any old teleport. So Eve's Mascara, I believe, doubles your tier damage, drastically lowers your shot speed, and notably lowers your tiers. But uh, the the damage more than makes up for it, and shot speed's relatively easy to come by, I think, in my opinion at least. I don't love being on an XL floor right now for reasons that I I would expect are probably obvious. XL floor means no valuable deal with the devil on the womb, which is really like one of the worst. Uh, kind of penalties that you can get at this point. That was terrible damage on my part. Okay, we do have some problems. My Reflection plus Eve's Mascara is actually horrible. If only we had Lump of Coal. Uh, it might be better because they kind of, they spend a lot of time in the air. But uh, we're, we're going to have to be very aware of when that happens. It's our pill. We don't know. Tears up. Very happy about that. That might compensate for the relatively small but still noticeable tears downgrade that you do get from Eve's Mascara. All we gotta do is hit these guys once. I mean, that's the... The reason you take it is not because Eve's Mascara has no downsides. It's because the downsides are more than compensated for by the, the extra damage. Like, for example, when we have Proptosis here, if we get right up in an enemy's face, they're not gonna stand much uh, chance to survive more than a couple hits. Also, let's not play up any false drama. We have Stopwatch and so much damage and the ability to respawn once with certainty. And maybe more than that. A, a decent chance to become Guppy if we ever find Curse Rooms. Uh, there, there's almost no way that this run goes south at this point. Which is lovely. After that run that may or may not have existed uh, just before this one. Which was god-awful. I don't normally scrap many Rebirth runs. So I'm telling you that this run that I, that I had. Sorry, that I may or may not have had. Was truly god-awful. I don't like to waste my time, you know. 
I like to generate a lot of backlog. So for me to get rid of a video is painful, but it would have been more more painful to post it because I would have had to relive the disaster twice. Good thing we were only at a one streak. Uh, 48 hour energy again. I'll, I'll just use it. I'd rather keep the devil card with us. 48 hour energy actually might be more valuable than the devil card now that I think about it, but it's okay. We have two golden chests there. I'll open them up. Able for free and then a little bit of money. Probably not worth it even though we did get an item, but... An item is basically the most kind of positive description I've ever heard for Abel. <laughs> it is literally an item. Uh, that's about it. It helps out in the slightest, and that's about it. Sure, a spoon bender should be okay for us here as well. Don't do me dirty like this. I'm using Krampus's head in some ways that I normally wouldn't, but I think there's you know justifiable reasons for that. What do you got for me, Judgment? Not an HP upgrade, please. Although I would still take it because we're not getting that many spirit hearts. Um, give me some keys and then give me like a compass. Alright, you gave me rotten meat, which, which I still think looks like a fortune cookie, but that's that's on me. Probably still going to get a, another charge back before our boss fight. And if we don't, you know, who cares, basically. Doing more than enough damage for it to not matter, probably. The range nerf on a slowed enemy is like... Probably like fully 50% of the reason why stopwatch is ridiculous. I'm very disappointed to have been hit by uh, that turret when it was super slow. Those don't get nerfed uh, range. No red chest. Range down. Okay, well, it's the last time I say nerfed range because apparently the game took it as an invitation instead of as a uh, commentary. My mistake. Certainly a good run to start off the day's recordings as well. You know, always nice to start with a win that is... It, well, I should say it a couple of different ways. It's always nice to start with a run that tests your skill. This is not really a run that is going to test our skill. But it's nice to start with a run that's a fairly easy win as well, because it gets your confidence up, and, you know, that can set the tone for the rest of the day. It's always nice to have, like, a blowout in week one, you know? So that by week 16, you can still look back on that and be like, you know what, we're all right. We got a pretty good, that was an NFL reference for those of you who don't watch American football. I don't watch American football either, but I did play a lot of ESPN NFL uh, back before EA bought the exclusive uh, NFL license. Red chess. Oh. And? Alright. It's not worth the spirit heart for the spiders, but whatever. I knew this was a dead end. Why even come through with this room? Kind of a silly decision. I guess because it was a, an easy room. Well, this is uh, certainly a long floor. That is range down. My assumption is that I'll probably end up using the Devil card on the Isaac fight, just to just to speed that up, and then we'll get you know I I I'm trying starting to fall back into that meta, the meta where um, better to use good stuff against Isaac because you're probably going to be better for Blue Baby. I'm not re-rolling this whole run. I apologize. I'm just not going to do it. Bob's rotten head. I guess I'll get it so it doesn't show up again. I know I used to be the guy who rerolls everything, but on this run, I would hate to go from such a good position to just a terrible position. We could go to a better position. I don't know. We could we could also get Godhead, because it does reroll our spacebar item, but... Oh, come on. Be good. Bombs are key. Yes. And no. Blast assist is not a problem in the least. We're not going to have any Krampus's head, but honestly, I don't think that really matters at this point. We should cut through these bosses fairly easily. It depends what our, our special thing is. Yeah, sure. Like what our $3 bill effect is for the next room. Let's see what it is. Can't see. Uh, I think it might be my reflection, unfortunately. No, it's definitely not. The, the shots are living way too long to be my reflection. Um, I don't know. Truth be told, it probably doesn't really matter that much. Now, we have a weird run in that it's very strong, but it's not particularly strong against... Uh, mom's heart most runs are not particularly strong but are very strong against mom's heart because mom's heart kind of sucks this run is is very slightly differently aligned I suppose all right we're gonna have to deal with some brimstone shots in just a second but they're not gonna last very long or we're not gonna have to deal with any brimstone shots that is fine as well remember that deal with the devil will be meaningless as we head up to the next floor who's next then I don't want to like you know pull any of the drama away from this run but this run is probably over in our favor Due to a variety of, of great things working out for us here. Um, in particular, I love having 27 keys right now and Guppy's tail. It means we should get a lot of uh, 
item opportunities. Our luck stat might be a little lower than it defaults. I can't remember if we got luck downgrades over the course of this run, but... Uh, even with that, you know, we still have a decent chance to get some chest drops, and there'll be golden chests, and we can open them. So, who cares? Uh, with Piercing Shot, there's no reason for us, I would say, to use Krampus's head right here, but I'll be on the lookout to use it on other rooms. Anyway, uh, next is Kane. I'm excited. I'm titillated by it. Was I just using that as an excuse to use the word titillated? Yes. Am I eight years old? No. I was once, though. I, I remember it fondly. Come on now. There we go. We're at the we're at the money cap at least. Okay, you know what? I forgot we had mom's purse. I will take cursed eye. Just to make some interesting stuff happen here. Cursed eye plus death's touch is looking real janky right now, which I kind of appreciate. Uh, I think cursed eye is a fun item, and it's it's a great item and it's unique in a way, because it's the only item that is both A, great to pick up from a DPS standpoint, I think, and also B could completely ruin my run. There's not many items that are simultaneously like run helpers and run ruiners. I guess Bob's brain is, is one of the only other ones. Ipecac, etc, etc. Um, well, not etc, etc, because there's not that many, but uh, I, I like Cursed Eye. I am part of the, the Cursed Eye um, Awareness Raising Committee, because I feel like I'm one of the, not the few people, there's a lot of people who do like Cursed Eye, but I think we're in the minority. Uh, I'm one of the the people who, uh, you know, stands up for Cursed Eye on the internet. When people say, oh, Cursed Eye, it's so because it cost me my run. It can cost you your run, admittedly. But uh, I think most of the time, if, you, if you're aware of what you're doing when you use it, you should be fine. It's like, you know, it's like owning a gun or something like that. I don't want to get into any kind of gun control debates or anything like that because I literally have no opinion on it. But I think most people would agree that, um, you know, if you own a gun, it can be dangerous. But you can get around some of that danger. This is me trying to be as apolitical as possible. You can get around some of that danger by executing the proper safety protocols. That's like Cursed Eye, man. Cursed Eye is dangerous. Even at the best of times, you can still, uh... It can still mess you up, you know? Accidents do happen. However, I think if you, you know, it can also be an, an important tool if used properly. There we go. Could I walk that tightrope anymore? You know, I'm not nerd cubed. I have no interest in getting into any kind of gun control debates on Twitter. I'm just a guy who plays video games. That's not me shit talking Dan either. He's a nice dude. I'm just saying we occupy different m niches on social media. Joker? Joker? Two of diamonds. Probably not that meaningful right now. Uh, good stuff. I do like Cursed Eye. I will take it in most situations unless... Actually, it's kind of weird. If I'm in a terrible situation, I would take Cursed Eye. If I'm in a great situation, I would take Cursed Eye. Come on. I picked it up as well. The only reason I wouldn't take Cursed Eye is if I was in like a, a situation where I was walking like the razor's edge. And I was like, ooh, that could kill me. That could be the difference in the negative direction or the positive direction. But I'd rather just like roll the dice on future items. If Cursed Eye loses us this run, that's really just me fucking it up way more badly than I have any excuse to. So, that's why I picked it up. Because it would be funny. Yeah, let's crack this shit open. Death card. I mean, the Devil card is better for us. You know, Devil card is uh, Dracula backwards, by the way. Most people don't know that. Because I totally just made it the fuck up right now. Quarter? Lovely. Too bad I used that Two of Diamonds card earlier. Probably no need to pop the Devil card here, but, you know, why not? I love the way Cursed Eye looks with Death's Touch as well. If Oh my god, the frame rate on the scythes is so bad, why is that? Something to do with, like, the Devil card plus the whatever tier effect we had on, on this run. Or on this room, I should say. That's really funny. I have no idea what it is. Okay, don't be charging when the beams of light come down. Good stuff. Good stuff. I was totally charging when the beams of light came down. That is not a good decision. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let us move it along here. I'm very interested to see what we get from these chests. I don't have a left hand. Chances of becoming guppy are pretty low now. Oh, spider bite's great. 2020 is awesome. Fire mind is interesting and potentially will get us killed in conjunction with cursed eye, but hey. All right, let's see how these shots look now. Uh, I have no idea what I'm looking at. 
And that's okay. I think we're... I think 2020 might make it so that we just charge our weird cursed eye scythes much faster. I'm not totally sure, though, to be honest with you. Two of hearts and the two of hearts. See you later. Ah, never mind. I really wish that we had Guppy on that room. Krampus's head synergizes with Guppy so well. We have Proptosis there. Two of hearts basically makes us invincible. Come on. It's the laser that could trip me up here. So just get behind him. There you go. Chest drops. Work with me. No? All right. That's fine. Shit happens. Oh, mom's contact on this room. I like it a lot. Fire mine not causing nearly as many explosions as I would like. Sometimes you want no explosions. Sometimes you want all the explosions. I want all the explosions for right now. I am very pro-explosion on this run. More keys. Hopefully those keys become useful. I doubt it, though. Wow. Okay, this run is... This floor is going to be over super quickly. Oh! Okay. That was... These uh, homing sites with 2020 and Cursed Eye are actually awesome. That was a lot of fun. Well, that's the only way we could truly completely fuck ourselves is by constantly teleporting when we're that close to the boss room. So let's try not to make that mistake again. I think we're pretty much in the clear, though. Chests? Make it worth my while? Nope. Okay. Well, we have... Uh, we have uh, Krampus's head left. I might just use that to clear the room before the boss. No, I will not. Just be careful about charging when there's bombs in your area. See? Wasn't charging there. Smart decision on my part. Mr. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my Mr. Room, room, room. That's actually Mr. Mega. I'm an idiot. All right. The only thing I'm really worried about attack-wise from this blue baby is uh, his teleport. If we can avoid his teleport, we should have no real risk to be hit because his range is so inhibited by stopwatch. These shots are... They look kind of bad, and that's kind of cool. I like it. He's dead. Easy run. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll be back with a cane run next. If you did enjoy the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.